Swarf up here up front with Cole and then Travis. Devon, you had over 100 yards and there were four new offensive linemen. What did you see from them in their performance? Um, it was something that like the offensive line, they, they've been working like all spring and so I wasn't expecting nothing but what I seen at practice and they've been working very hard. You know, it's a new group, but they, they bond that they made at practice. So I was just like coming to the game expecting them to do great and that's what they did. Stay in the front and we'll go to Travis Brown and then Brent. Two questions real quick. What, what do you, with the uh, GPS data that y'all are given with the, 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 the vest or whatever, how, um, what kind of that data do you like to process and, and what do you particularly look at? Um, I don't really look at it. It's just like, it's the more sort of like our acceleration and speed thing, but I don't really just pay no much attention to that. Do, do you know how, what your fastest miles per hour has no. been? No. Uh, and then uh, from, especially with the offensive line, uh, uh, Aki Gumbi, how impressed have you been with what he's been able to do as a true freshman, and and what what have you seen from from his game in particular? Um, you know he's he's very like critic uh, like on his uh, on his techniques and stuff like that. You know they all stay after practice, you know, work to certain type of stuff. So I just seen like a lot of off work off off the work type of uh, field stuff that he be doing, and they all transfers into a game day. Is is he a guy that from early in fall camp you, you knew was going to be one of those guys that that would step up and get a starting role? Yes, sir. Of course, because uh, he been putting the work off the field. You know, he, even when it was COVID, you know, he had all this certain little adversity. He still was working, so and working on his game. So it's I was also watching, and that's what he did uh, this Saturday. I was staying in the front with Brent Zorman, then we'll go to the TV room. How would you evaluate Haynes and his start and, and kind of running the show, you know, the old school reference within the huddle, but just in terms of directing the offense and, and leading the way in his first start? You know, I, I, I love Haynes' game. Like, his his yeah. game that Saturday, you know, he was nervous just like I was on my first game. So I was just, I was just you know, in his ear, keep him hyped up. You know, he basically, I basically just tell him, like, to do the same things he do at practice. And that's what he was doing, you know, making plays. And that's the type of guy he is. So he just... He's a hardworking guy, and that's what he showed on Saturday. Were there any examples you can think of of him saying anything or doing anything in the course of the game? Where he, where um, he, he made a lot of big plays. Like, like remember last time I was up here, and I was saying like he's always like in front, like actually like just like he was on Saturday. He used his legs. You know, he he wasn't afraid to scramble or even take take hits. So it was like very impressive. Thank you. All right, let's go back behind the TV lights or to the TV row to Tyler and then Mike. Uh, Devon, first off, on your when you broke loose for your touchdown run, were you having kind of shades of the Orange Bowl? Uh, I wouldn't think about the Orange Bowl. I was just thinking about trying to get to the end zone and score. And how much more comfortable are you now, starting year two in this offense, than you know, say a year ago when you said you were nervous your first time, you know, time playing? Um, I'm a lot more comfortable because you know, I, all the reps that I took, you know, it, it's a lot more like memor memorizing to me than last year. You know, I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable because I've worked like on my game off the season, so it's like easy for me to transfer transfer into the game day. Stay in the back, we'll go to Mike from KX, and then we'll go to Zach. Hey Devon, everyone always talks about Haynes' speed, but you know, you're, you're the guy to ask, is Haynes really as fast as everyone says he is? Yes, he is. Like, if, if you come to our practices and see him run, like, when he's scrambling, like, you will see, like, like how is he, like, making people miss and they're coming at this type of angle. Like, he's actually very fast. I would, like, I would love to see him, like, run track, like, and then, and then secondly, Devon, you guys had almost 600 yards of offense. You didn't pump, but there were four turnovers. So how do you guys clean up some of those mistakes, and what is the potential of this offense if you don't have four turnovers? Um, like, like Coach Rich said, we got into the red zone. Like, we, we didn't punt the ball not one time uh, in the game. So it basically, we just got to go to practice and, like, fix the little mistakes that we did and order and everything. And then, like, it would be more easier for us. And then it would just – more like off, we was being ourselves more for like turnovers and a lot of stuff. Like you can't win games with turnovers. So we just gotta go practice and fix the little stuff. Let's go front left to Zach Taylor, and then Chuck. Devon, how, how do you and Isaiah complement each other? I mean, are there certain things that he does well that maybe you could always work on and vice versa? I mean, how, how do you guys form the formidable one-two punch that you have? Um, I would say we always, like even when we I'm not having a good game or having a bad game, we always, we always with each other. Like we always come meet each other, telling us stuff what we need to do, or based off like if he ain't see this, or if he if I ain't see something, he'll tell me like when I come on the sideline, boom, you should have did this, or boom, like next time. So we always come meet each other, helping each other out on uh, our runs and uh, basically like our pass blocking and stuff like that. What about physical traits? Are there certain things that you, you think you're better at? Than yeah, 
uh, physical traits. He teach me like on my techniques, like on picking up like big linebackers and stuff like that. He just teach me like, how to use my hands and stuff like that. So he always, we always teach each other like stuff that we need. All right, let's go to the middle left to Chuck Carlton from the Dallas Morning News. You talked about your confidence level now in the offense and how hard you worked in the off season. And yeah, the Orange Bowl is in the past, but you had like a, a breakout game there. How gratifying was it to follow up the performance last season with what you did on Saturday? Mm, I think it was kind of exciting for me based off that I did it as in like, because I had a good game, Orange Bowl, so I didn't want to have a, like a rough game as my first game. So I was basically good. And I felt like a little better that I had a good game and I couldn't thank like my old line and the offense that we all, that had a big part of that. Back left, Sam Kahn from The Athletic, and then Owen. There are two quick ones for you. One, how nice was it to have Caleb Chapman back out there in this offense, the impact he had? And two, how much role do you expect to have in the passing game this year? Um, Chapman has been working like really, really hard to come back. You know, like when I seen him running the post routes, I was thinking like a Florida game, like that is like that's Chapman, like that's what he does. So it's very, it's very exciting to, uh, for him to be back, and I would, I would love to see like him have a strong and healthy season. And what did you say, Chris? Yeah, how much role in the passing game do you expect to have this year? Um, we do a, like all of our plays, like we do a lot of like out of the backfield plays now. So it's basically like whoever's in the game, like coach be telling us like we work on a lot of. Like in the Indies, we do a lot of like routes, like slops and shoot routes and seams. So it's basically like we should have a big role in the passing game, just like like a normal receiver. All right, we'll wrap it up with Owen right in the middle. A couple of things uh, related, but do you like coming in kind of as the relief pitcher? Uh, you know, do you and can you tell um, a difference if the defense has been out there for a while and then you come in as with your speed? Do you think that gives you a an even bigger advantage? Um, I wouldn't say an advantage is like more of is that like, I love coming in when I come in, like coach, coach Fisher and my running back coach, coach Tommy, they have like a system for us. So, you know, we just do it what's best for the team and for us to win. So it's it's not like an advantage. I, I guess it was more like that the defense were more focused, they're more focused on somebody else. And then when I get in the game, they have to like adjust. All right, that's all the questions we have.